Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on my approach and the way I do my readings. Check out the Soulful Revolution channel. Mary Jo, the owner of that channel, was my inspiration to start this channel. I would have never had the courage to do it if it wasn't for her. The video you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Aries, this is your March 1st through March 7th tarot reading. Let's talk about your work situation first. We've got the Nine of Swords clarified by the Five of Cups. We also have the King of Swords and Death clarified by Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or a Scorpio. Um, your work situation is going through some kind of a transformation and I think it's for the, the better because we've got death clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity and death doesn't necessarily mean some kind of an ending. It is a transformation in this case as I see it and like I said you could be dealing with um, air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius or this could be you assuming the energy and you're just cutting through all the BS that you have going on at work or you could be cutting people off you, you know um, another way I can uh, interpret this spread is you could be ending your work situation or your partnership if you're on your own business with uh, somebody and uh, it is for the better you're a little worried about it you're a little anxious you're a little bit fearful but I think you'll be able to overcome it because uh, we've got the ace of Pentacles on the right and like I said this is a golden opportunity so whatever changes whatever endings you're experiencing this week at your workplace or a place of business it is for the better, much better. Aries, if you are in an established love relationship, this spread is for you. An established love relationship is marriage or a long-term partnership living together or still living separately. We've got the uh, Five of Cups clarified by the Nine of Cups. Then we also have the Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords. Um, you could be starting off the week from some sort of a regret, perhaps the two of you got into a fight recently, but then um, it will turn around. One of you will make some kind of an offer or actually travel to see each other if you are still living separately. And then the two of you will have some kind of a very straightforward, very bold, cutthroat conversation and that will set the record straight. I don't see any uh, negative cards except for the Five of Cups but I think that's just the way you feel in the beginning of the week and I think we have the tendency for the situation to improve. Um, at least you'll be able to see clearly what's going on in your relationship. Aries, if you're on the quest for new love this spread is for you. We've got the Four of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Page of Cups and the Fool. So there is some kind of a small offer heading your way or it could be you extending a very small offer to somebody else. It could be something of a small text message or if you run into this person the two of you will flirt with each other and then the one of you, the one on the receiving end, will have to think about it, you know, and see if there is a potential in this uh, relationship. And I think the outcome will be positive because we've got two um, positive, nice, moving forward cards. We've got the Fool and the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is uh, a partnership or marriage card. Some people call it the 1111 card, and the Fool card is a new beginning or taking a leap of faith. So this makes me think that eventually this small gesture, this small offer could lead to something abundant and something with uh, great potential. 
Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Aries, this week. We've got Temperance, the Ten of Cups, Judgment, and the King of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, the Judgment card makes me think that somebody is coming back to you. And uh, keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. It could be somebody from a couple of months ago, six months ago, or a few years ago. So judgment, somebody is trying to resurrect this uh, relationship, somebody is trying to reconcile with you. It could be, um, like I said, a Sagittarius or the water sign. But uh, these are all good positive cards because temperance could also mean uh, healing or reconciling. And the uh, Ten of Cups is one of the best cards for partnerships or for marriages, for families. So this looks very promising. Uh, if there is an offer to reboot this relationship, the offer will be accepted. Let's see if anything will surprise you, Aries, this week. We've got the World, the High Priestess, Queen of Pentacles, and the Queen of Swords. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or an Air sign. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, male or female, doesn't really matter. The surprise will be associated in some way with the, the two people, the earth sign and the uh, air sign. Um, something is coming to an end. We've got the world card, and this usually symbolizes um, the end of a one cycle and the beginning of another cycle. The high priestess is also here. That means something is either hidden that's uh, going on that you're not aware of or this is an advice for you to use your intuition when you deal with those uh, people so the surprise is that you're dealing with those two people or at least one of them because you could also be assuming the energy of one of these uh, queens male or female doesn't matter the queen of pentacles is someone who is nurturing who is d down to earth who doesn't make any sudden moves and the Queen of Swords is someone who's been there, who doesn't take bullshit from anybody anymore, and she can smell the BS from a mile away. So that's your surprise. See how this resonates for you. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.